Welcome to Ice Pond TV. Episode number three, very important episode. Everyone waiting for this one because this is where we're going to talk about the tools and how to make the box and why we make the box. So first of all, the first tool that we have here is made out of solid steel, stainless steel, food grade, very sturdy, it won't move. Good for breaking through. It has a sharp side and it has a blunt side. So we have two of these. These are for scraping the ice cream. Now another very important tool that we use is the one that we use to roll the ice cream with. Slightly thinner in size. It has more give, more flimsier. So it has more bend in it. And this also has a sharp side and a, thin, a blunt edge. And lastly, don't forget our tricky little fella here. This is the, we call it the picker, but it's just common tongs. And the common tongs that we use are approximately about six to eight inches long and they're ideal for picking the rolls up. So as we're gonna go for it, today we're gonna talk about the box and uh, we've turned the machine on. We've got our mix ready here. And whilst the machine is cooling down, I'm gonna go through a few hand movements. Now, the first one is that we're aiming to make a box the size of the machine left to right and the width of the box needs to be similar in size as not to make it too thin and too thick. So the aim it for a box there, it doesn't really matter how, how wide it is but it has to be a, a set average of what it should be. When the machine is cooling down, as we're cooling down, the first motion that we do is we bring the ice cream together. When we're bringing it together, we're using this motion to clean the scraper. So it's bringing the ice cream together and clean the scraper. Bring it in from this side, clean the scraper. And then that's a double it and that's cleaning it off. Again, bring the ice cream. And you can bring this from any side. Top to bottom, left to right. The next one, once you've got it in a lump, obviously we're gonna spread it out. Using the top one as a stabbing action. This one, this, so as if we're axing someone and we're stabbing someone, so this one we hold like it, and here we go. That's the top line. Go on the left, on the back. And here comes the tricky one. This one with this one, and we back stroke it off. And remember to keep pressure on the ice cream. There's no pressure, you're not gonna be able to really spread it out very really well. So we're ready to go. I'm gonna make a physical box with the ice cream now and let's hope we can cut some more movement. A bit of traction. Ready to go. The ice cream doesn't really matter, it's irrelevant why it is today. The flavoring is actually strawberry popcorn. But you don't need to worry about that. So what you need to know about, I'm bringing it in and there's the cream. Bring it in, there's the cream. Bring it in, there's the cream. There we go. Same with this one again. And whilst we're doing this, you can see the ice cream is forming a lump in the center. And that's what we need to be trying to aim for. A lump of ice cream. So if it goes to the side there. So you should be watching it carefully with the eyes as well, so you know that where to go. So where, you know. Once you've got the lump, Start with the first bit of the thing, the top line. It doesn't really matter which line you start with, but the top is best to use. And then the side one. Now the reason behind this box is, we talked about it before in our first episode, is if you get a nice perfect box, you're gonna get the perfect roll. And we're looking to see photographs of people's perfect rolls. You soon so right, lovely ones, tight, perfect. Here's the side action that I showed you. And there's the back one. Nice straight edges, smooth it off at the top, as level as possible. Dust for these tools. The last clean, we don't need them. Go away. You can always add some sauce for accompanying. Nice little squeeze of sauce. 
And with this being the popcorn as well, we're going to add some popcorn and strawberry sauce. And here we come with the next one. So there's a sharp side and there's a blunt side. I'm going to use the sharp side, obviously. And I'm going to press against it. And it should start rolling off. Now there is a time limit to this. If I leave it too long, the ice cream will be too hard to roll. And if I do it too quick, it might be too soft to actually form a roll. So here we go. I'm doing it a little bit slow for the camera so you can watch it in motion. I'm going to hit a little bit of defrost just to get the ice cream a bit moving again. And as you can see, the more it is pressing in towards the ice cream, form the perfect tight rolls. Now we look at this roll. That's what we're aiming for. And we love to see pictures, comments about perfect rolls. And we have, we would like to stress out at this point that we, that this does take a lot of practice, but if you do practice, you know, nothing's impossible for anyone, even the professional commercial use or even for home family use. You know. And obviously the last tool which we think is just as important is to pick up the rolls and place them inside your tub. Maybe you have a plate, maybe you're just serving to your family at home. And we lay them around in a Circle on it, and you can always sauce it on top. A lot of people put toppings on top, cream, everything. That's all the preferred or taste or however you like to do. But you know, we don't we don't even go into that. Thank you very much for tuning into Ice Pond TV.